Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. Any questions as to what it is that I do, how do I do it, services that I provide on Patreon and all of that fun stuff down below in the description. So um, I got up this morning and I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and see what's going on energy-wise for people. There, um, There's a lot going on, as you know, as you're aware, um, in the world, in probably your own country, in your own state, in your own city, whatever it may be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick check-in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to focus our energy on the water and the candle. Okay. So yeah, there is definitely a lot of things that are coming in to either... Um, I don't like so much to say test, but to come in and questioning your current beliefs, questioning the things that you have been following, the people that you have been following, the people that you have been listening to, um, and what have you actually um, learned and what actually comes from within you, if that makes any sense. So... There are a lot of people that are starting to um, become more aware of the things that are going on around the world, that are becoming more aware of, you know, people that they thought um, were supposed to go, let's say, or were supposed to come with them on a journey, or were supposed to be in their life for a, a longer period of time. There's a lot of people recognizing and realizing that um, they're no longer in those space. They're no longer in those space of wanting to just party, wanting to just drink, you know, 24 seven and wanting to spend every weekend clubbing and things like that. Um, there are people that, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, a lot of people dying, let's say from the, um, from the virus that is currently going around, but the, the core issue of it. It's not just a virus, let's put it that way. There are people that around the world um, and people that maybe you yourself know have either attempted or have actually committed suicide. Um, there are people that are still dying from cancer. There are people that are still dying from a lot of different things. And what is, what is happening at the moment is that people are feeling very regretful for either not being there for someone or for um, not to have spent a lot enough time. Let's say if it was a friend, if it was a sister, if it was a cousin, if it was you know your grandmother, your grandfather, whatever um, whatever the situation that you're currently in or the people are in at the moment, they they're having a lot of regrets and they're wanting to um, embrace spending more time with their family. They're wanting to just want to be around family because they do not want to ever feel that guilt again but you know the interesting thing is that why why is it that individuals let's say are waiting for someone to, you know, die, cross over, whatever you want to call it, before they value that person's life. So even if your current situation does not involve um, death in itself, and before I continue, um, just FYI, the puppies are in the room. Um, so if you hear a little extra noise here and there, just know that it's the puppies. Um, they're all in dreamland right now. Anyways, so people are starting to wanting to grasp to either a situation or people from the past um, wanting to hold on to what they have wanting to hold on to what they believe is real to what they believe is solid to what they can touch and they can you know literally feel with their hands and the thing is that if we continue on waiting until situations are removed out of our lives to learn the value of connections with people, then we're just going to continue the same cycle. So just be very aware of that and try and try and see why you're feeling um, that 
you know you should have valued somebody else in the past and again this is just a quick energy read for you know anybody that comes ahead and see it so it's very broad if you want something a little bit more um for like a smaller group or something like that you can always go ahead um, and check patreon or go ahead and book a private reading but you know there are a lot of things that are in a in a way coming back around for you to revisit whether it is an old friendship an old romantic relationship an old career opportunity an old hobby whatever it is there's something here that was never completed not in the sense of you know two people separating or you walking away from a job but more of the hold the emotional hold that either that person that career that hobby or those people had on you and little by little those things are starting to reemerge so just be very 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 mindful when they're coming when they're coming back around it is not necessarily because you need to go ahead and jump back into that group of friends and jump back into the drinking and the partying or the smoking or whatever it is. It's not because you need to romantically be involved again with this person. It is more about recognizing the emotional attachment and why you had that emotional attachment. Why did you allow um, either that thing or that person or those group of people to have so much control over your life because if you go ahead and you try and remember how you felt when this person walked away or how you felt when this person lied to you or how you felt when this person betrayed you or these people betrayed you whatever it is remember that feeling the initial feeling that you felt now are you willing to go ahead and give someone else or other people the authority over your life the power over your life the power over your thoughts and you know, some may not even realize it and are just going to go ahead and be like, you know what, this is what I want. This is what's going to make me feel safe. This is what's going to make me um, feel like I am not alone. And that is perfectly fine if that is what you are led to do. If that's what you're led to do, then there's probably still lessons there that you are meant to learn. Um, when we have faith, you know, whether you want to refer to God as God, source, divine, spirit, whatever it is that you choose to go ahead and call on it then you have to come out of that place of fearing about being alone, fearing that you are not going to quote unquote find the correct person or the right person or you're never going to find somebody that you're going to love the way you love this person. Now my question to you is, does this person, does this group of people or whomever love you, truly love you for who you are, or do they love the fact that you were always there, that they love the fact that... Um, you never walked away until a certain point. They love the fact that whenever they needed something, they knew that they could come and get what they need without having to give anything themselves. So just go ahead and keep that in mind. You know, so I may be feeling, you know, you can call the energies, um, you know, you can call them negative energies, you can call them many different things. Um, but yes, there is a happiness, there is a, a desire, a want to, to not be alone, to have someone, to have, to have a group of people, to have anything, to go ahead and understand you, to have to have them relate to what you're going through, to just not feel like you're so alone in the world. And it's like, you know, you're not alone, first of all. Um, we're all connected, and I've always said that. And, you know, we have, if you look around, if you go ahead and you take a step back and you look around at all the things that you have in life, all the people that you have in life, um, there's a lot to be grateful for. There's a lot to... To wake up for every morning and just and just be grateful for regardless of what's going on out in the world if again if we continue to allow the chaos of the world to become the chaos within ourselves then yeah we're always going to be lacking we're always going to attract more chaos let's put it that way um so i went ahead and i pulled out a card from 
the what is this called again? The dream. I want to say the um the wrong name. This is a mystical um dream tarot, and I'll go ahead and I'll put the quick definition of the book um in the description. So the five of pentacles, and as I'm looking at this picture, and I'll show you in a second, there is a fish underwater, and there's a couple of other symbols um you know around the fish, and my thing is with the way that she's looking she's holding these flowers um she's like inside the fish you know usually a fish is inside a fish bowl right well this person this lady is inside the fish the moon is in the back there's water behind her there's trees and everything and she's just holding there she's standing there very elegantly just looking at the flowers looking down but she's looking down she's looking at all the things that she either feels that she is missing out on or all the things that she wished that she would have done or could have done so maybe you put part of your life on hold for another person maybe you put other people's dreams and desires in front of your own maybe you know you just kind of gave up on life you kind of gave up on taking care of yourself you kind of gave up on being who you are at the core and maybe you're being asked at the moment to go ahead and reevaluate that and reevaluate why you allow everything outside of you to go ahead and take so much control over you so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna see what the challenge is so that you <clears throat> excuse me so that you can go ahead um so what the challenge is going to be as far as getting out of this um five of pentacles energy what is the challenge to get out of that five of pentacles energy the eight of cups with the knight of cups and death so when we look at the eight of cups there are eight cups behind her and she's just kind of standing there um it looks like everything behind her is red everything kind of looks kind of like doom and gloomy but also fear like fiery so it's also like in the midst of that pain in that midst of that anger or whatever it is that you were feeling that was your chance or your opportunity to reconnect with yourself to reconnect as to why you attract so many people or people in general that are just draining you that are just coming and taking you and then when people come around when people that are willing to exchange people that are willing to grow with you people that are willing to work with you come around then you just kind of have this look to like uh whatever they're just going to turn out just like the last you cannot compare a new situation um a new beginning even if the beginning is for let's say from a person from the past and you're being led to go ahead and start something new with this person even if that is the case you cannot compare what happened to the past to what is happening now because the same way that you have grown it's the same way that the other person has grown with the knight of cups there is a there is an energy here of waiting for someone to come forth with their love or waiting for someone to come forth with revealing um, their true feelings towards you and maybe because that never came through or it didn't come through in the way that you wanted it to you're still kind of lingering still stuck on that and then we have the death card and now if we look at the death card there's two females there's her here and then there's her here in the back and as you can see there's like light shining from the back of her right and we look at this card and it's like you're still allowing shadows. You're still allowing things from the past to have a hold. So not allowing this to emotionally, um, and it's not about not caring for other people, and it's not about not showing love to other people. It is about knowing that you can still, you know, you can still care for somebody, you can still love somebody, but they do not have to be a part of your life if they're not willing to go ahead and give the same type of love or to reciprocate the energy that you're putting in to make the same type of investment that you're putting in whether this is um like i said like a romantic lover or a group of friends or whatever it is so allow death when it comes to that mental thought that you're never going to get over this or that you're never going to go ahead and find anybody allow that death to that type of mentality to um go ahead and take place because 
if you continue on just thinking about that, then that is exactly what you're going to go ahead and bring back forth um, around during this cycle. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we'll see what the advice is. So the first card that jumped off was the high priestess. So she's standing there and there's somebody holding, I want to say it's like a book or card of the high priestess. And there is um, a, a girl, because I can't really see her face, coming to the high priestess asking for advice. So this may be that somebody or someone, there's going to be a message or a, an advice or somebody that is willing to help, somebody that is um, going to... Um, hear out what you have to say and it's going to come forth to assist you during this time um because you're having a really hard time when it comes to the king of cups in reverse you're having a really hard time when it comes to the emotional aspect of it um and really starting to feel and it may be just what's going on in the world again that is kind of making you feel like it can't get any better than this. I'm never going to find anybody. Imagine now with the social distancing going around. How am I going to meet somebody? Huh? So because you're having such a hard time with um, repeatedly connecting to these negative thoughts within your head, um, there is either someone's advice that you're going to seek or someone is going to come in to give you advice um, or to kind of lead the way to help you come out of, you know, this king of um king of cups in reverse energy so again the advice can come either from somebody that is spiritually um spiritual it can come from anybody that you either admire or somebody that you feel is going to relate and it's going to be able to give you some clarity on what it is um that you should go ahead and move forward um then we have the queen of swords and then the justice uh, with the Queen of Swords, it's like, you know, she has her three dogs in front of her. She's holding her sword. And <clears throat> just just be careful that when you when the advice is um, comes forth or when you go ahead and you seek the advice, that if you do not like the advice that is given towards you or to you, let's put it that way, or if you don't like the person that's bringing the advice, that you do not allow the actual message to get lost because you're so set on your ways and this is not the way that it was supposed to happen. This is not the way that it's supposed to go. So just, again, make sure that you're picking your battles correctly. Make sure that you're holding the sword against what it is that you are supposed to be holding it to and do not allow yourself to go into these energies as the advice is coming forth as the advice is um is being revealed to you let me go ahead and just move this back a little bit so i can get the um the whole spread out and i'll try and see if i can just post um a picture of it so you know do not allow again hold on let me just put these in the way that they came out yeah it gets a little um no that wasn't there it was this that was there there we go uh it's a little tricky here and there. So as, as this advice is coming through, don't allow this to take a hold and bring all of this into play, right? Do not allow it to, um, to stop this, this opportunity or this chance to go ahead and finally let go of this. And then we have the justice card because justice needs to come to when it comes to your, your you know your either your thoughts or your your um your emotional the emotional imbalance within yourself that that back and forth that okay i i really want i really want this um this is what i envision for my life but wait i don't want to leave this behind i don't want to leave this person behind i I don't want to stop loving them. What about if I stop loving them or I truly walk away? What about if I never find anything? Like all of that back and forth needs to end. 
but justice needs to come and justice is here justice is being brought to you again by this high priestess energy um it can be also like a revelation within yourself it can also be a dream it can be your guard you know your angels your guardians whatever um you choose to go ahead and call it whatever it is that is trying to bring the message forth it is here that is what you know that is probably why certain emotions or certain thoughts are coming through is so that you can go ahead and finally handle this and um, deal with it without walking away from it without feeling like this has that much control over you so with the justice card here just just be aware of the energies that um, are surrounding at the moment um, that is all that I have for you guys today um, thank you for all the love and support and I will see you guys really really soon bye bye